Hey everyone, well here we are, this is 6.0 and this is ooh, uh, roughly a week after the update went live and various things have changed in that week so Wargaming are still improving things which is good but in the meantime I thought I would pass on a little, well I'll pass on the a couple of things that I've learned in this past week about the changes to the game. So sort of you know, tips on how to navigate the new system, the new menu system and what you need to remember to do. Um, and I'm only saying what you need to remember to do because I've forgotten to do these things and ended up, uh, for example, in a game in a tier 10 without a commander. So without further ado, I'll jump straight in to the new commander system because that is a an area that can be a little bit confusing so I've got my object 140 here which I actually before I jump into the commanders you might want to check your tech trees because um, I've got the object 140 um, I never did the grind for it I just went to the tech tree and there it was available for purchase so I thought you know what I'm gonna purchase the object 140 so there you go I'm still grinding my T54 because I still want the T62. Uh, so, you know, bonus, tier 10. There we go. Never played it. Well, I haven't played it yet. Uh, I need to put a crew in it. And, which is, yeah, actually, I, why don't we do that now, actually? Let's have a look at that. What crews can I put in my T62? Not T62. What's this? Object 140. Yes, Object 140. And we'll run through the new crew system while we're at it, so let's come through here. Uh, actually, no, no, I won't do the 140 because I need to sort out the crews, but I know I have a tank I haven't played that I need to set up, so I will run through the system there. It is the Batchat 25T, here we go. I haven't played, six uh, haven't played this one in 6.0 yet, so, commanders, there's my bat chat 25T, and if I select him, I've got all my nine slots open here, but I need to assign them, assign my skills. So, this skill assignment is my typical, uh, just generic assignment and if you guys have better combinations then let me know but for now I'll run through what I what I do uh, six cents first one uh, the next one is born leader because it increases the effectiveness of your crew by 10% if I haven't got all nine slots open already I will put in quick learner because that's a 10% XP boost but if you have all nine slots open then there's no point in boosting your XP anymore because uh, you've already got them all, all nine unlocked. So that's a skill that can be removed once you've unlocked all nine. All right, next up is rapid reload, because who doesn't want to reload quicker? Um, steady aim, increased accuracy, rapid aim, and uh, the, the, these are all just the, the aiming uh, skills. Snapshot. Next page, uh, situational awareness. That's that was that's always been a skill to have, and the mechanic repairs for modules and importantly tracks. Now at this point, you might think we're done. This is where I've been caught out, so you you really need to pay attention to this. And for, fortunately, because this crew came out of the tank in. Well, not came out of. This is the crew I had in 5.0, so they've just carried over. You can assign all the skills you want to a crew here, but if you don't actually assign the crew to a tank, you can go out in your tank and not have a commander. So down at the bottom here is the current assignment. If I select that, it brings up this menu, and this is where you can assign your commander to what is now any nation of tank. This is the new bit. This is where you can put, like my French crew here for a for a price. Uh, have I got a? 
Oh, 140, we just talked about that, yeah. So, for 9,000... Uh, actually, yeah, double check me check me on this one, guys. 60 gold and 9,000, or 9,000 or 60? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not going to hit transfer, because that's not what I want to do. But you can now put your French crews, for example into your Russian tanks, but I'm not going to do that because I've already got the assignment. So, that is something to check. I've gone out in numerous battles and thought, hang on, why don't I have six cents? And I've realized you get the generic commander voice in your tank, so yeah, check that. Always check that. Alright, the next thing that I would demonstrate here in the garage is come up to your filters and I've got tier 10 on at the moment but if we clear the filters something I used a lot from the previous version of the game was my favorites and I use this to keep track of what I'm grinding and my favorite premium tanks so that's a grind premium 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 uh, I could probably get rid of that RT, actually, I've done that one. That's a grind, that's a grind, that's a grind. Uh, Panther's just a favourite of mine, as almost everyone knows, I think. <laughs> Panther 2, that's a grind. Captured KV-1's good for gold. Uh, not gold, silver, sorry. That's my that's my 3 marker. There she is. <laughs> Still got that one. Tiger 1, because it's a Tiger 1. Various, you know, silver earnings lights grinds all the way through these are my these are my favorites that I've got selected and what happened initially to, for me was I completed a tier 6 and I bought the tier 7 and I thought right I want to add the tier 7 to my favorites because that's now a tank I'm grinding and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to add to favorites so that's what I'm going to show you here if you have, that's your, that's the, the star is your favorites tab. So you can select the favorite and you can now navigate through the sort of uh, the grid layout of all the tanks that are in your favorites. In the bottom left there, it says remove from favorites. So that's how you remove, but how do you add? Well, if you clear your filters, you still get this grid layout. Now, if you select, if you hover over any of these tanks, it now says in the bottom left, add to favorite. So let's put the let's put the M2 light in my favorites. I've selected it. Jump back across to my favorites. And there's the M2 light. Remove from favorite. The star disappears. Clear the filters. Hit the favorites again. And it's disappeared. So that is how you add and remove from favorites. Oh, what else have we got? Let me put my favorites back on because All right, that is my favorites. Right. Um, on the right side, you've got this sort of player tank card that displays various stats on the tank and your consumable assignments. Now, I'll take one of my, my favorites, the T-54E2. Hit square. And this brings up the modules. It's a premium, so I'm not going to run through that. But the equipment uh, largely carries over. We do have some new equipment here. And I believe new equipment is uh, advanced armor. Uh, minus 5% on incoming damage. Um, that is handy if you're deliberately trying to, you know, bounce. Or, well, stay alive, really. <laughs> Um, I, I, it feels a little bit cheeky. I mean, you've got you've got these super heavies in the game, like you like the mouse, for example. I've put that on my mouse, and it just, you know, sometimes the mouse is hard enough to kill on its own if you don't, you know, just sling gold at it. But yeah, it, uh, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but um, it's there, it's new. So if you want to use it, um, you know, make the most of it. Okay, consumables. There's been a lot of talk about the consumables that we uh, can use and the, 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 the way they're assigned and the, uh, the spending, what you spend on your consumables. 
what I've got here is this is my sort of generic, again, generic layout. I've got the enhanced repair kit, uh, the food, and the enhanced uh, medical kit. I've, for some reason, I, I never used food before, and even, even though I've got it assigned, I still struggle to use it because I forget about it. But um, the assignment is basically at the top here, your first you select your first square and it will highlight you then select the repair kit to put in that slot it will jump over once you've selected select the next one it'll jump over again and then you select your next one now again you might think you're done careful here you've got to come back up to the top hit square or X on Xbox and you've got to check your currencies by default I believe they're all on gold so if I come back here, you can see the auto resupply is on gold. So hit square X for Xbox, navigate up, and make sure everything's on silver so that you're not spending your gold on your repair kits. Or your consumables, I should say, sorry. Um, there have been some bugs with this. Um, my live stream few days ago someone demonstrated or walked me through if you take off I don't know if they fixed this but if if you take off auto resupply it will switch the currency to, to gold I, th I think they may have fixed that so just careful just be careful with your turning auto resupply on or off I should say sorry careful with uh, the currencies that are assigned um, same again with ammo just check your currencies Make sure you're spending what you want to spend. Um, I know some people don't mind spending gold. If that's if that's you, then fine. If not, be sure to check. Um, something else I wasn't sure about was previously, if you had your tank in the garage like this, you could hit triangle to view the tank information just to get a bit of, you know, the M60 for example. You know, I, I want to know more about the M60. What's the little little bit of text about the M60? that can be found if you hit square tab all the way across to module viewer on the top left there that's where your little uh, bit of text is about the M60 and that is also where you find out what um, kind of XP boosts and silver boosts that your tank has so T54 here has 10% bonus XP earn and 50% bonus silver earn. So that's where that bit of information is. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the new system um, but one, once you know where things are, once you know where things have moved to, the, the it becomes so much easier to just, to just play the game really. Uh, something I do like is boosters are now a lot easier to see if you've got them on. Click in L3 and here are your boosters available. Before it, I, man, before I was forgetting, I was forgetting that I had my boosters on and you take out a tier 10 and you've got a times three XP boost on and you think, ah, oh, I've just played four games, I've wasted them. <laughs> so that doesn't really happen as much to me now. And I, I like that change. It makes it more visible. And anything that makes information more visible is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, I think I think for now, that's about everything I can think of immediately. Um, seasons are, you know, largely the same as they were before. Uh, you've still got the the challenges here. Uh, that's my progress for week one. Um, mercenaries. Uh, I, I'm assuming they're coming back in naughty or nice all the way down same as every annual sort of Christmas uh, operations in the game so yeah um, ah one last thing I will I will I will show is replays Pre previously at the end of a game you could you could just click replay and you could see it now replays have moved what you need to do is come down here come into your sorry I should it profile log come down to the game in question select it 
No, actually, no, 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 sorry, I've done that all wrong. Done that all wrong. No, that's not where. Well, that's how you view previous games, sorry. Replays, press options, or your start, I think it's start on Xbox. Replays are just there. So, um, that's where you can find the replay button. And this is the first time I've actually selected it, so let's have a look. No? Okay. Don't need to don't need to rewatch that. That's where replays are. So yeah. Um under the cosmetics the cosmetic appearance, the game is largely the same. It it, it is. Uh it's it's just been a bit of an uncomfortable change. But if you can adapt to it, then you will have just as much fun as you did before. So um yeah, I hope this has helped. Uh, if there's anything else you want to, um, anything else you want to know about this new update, just let me know in the comments below, and I can either cover it in another video or I can um, reply to your comment and and uh, let you know if if I can answer the question. Obviously, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you're all still keeping safe, and I will see you out there.